Hello everyone. On this video I'm going to be talking about Derek Wilson's Calamities and Catastrophes, the 10 Absolutely Worst Years in History. This book came out in 2011 and is a very interesting book. Um, I basically got it because it sounded interesting and I kind of like the cover, kind of like the color combination, kind of interesting. Uh, but the book is basically the author listing what he thinks is the 10 worst years in history. And uh, they basically, it says on the back what he thinks they are. And uh, basically they were, uh, in his opinion, the year 541 AD, which was when uh, the first outbreak of uh, the bubonic plague happened in Europe. And uh, Rome was what the Roman Empire on the western side basically fell, and so did the Persian Empire that was flourishing at the time. So two empires fell, and uh, that chapter is kind of interesting. It deals with Justinian, uh, Empress Theodora, and the badass general Belisarius, and uh, the bubonic plague. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, up next, we got 1241. That's kind of in the middle of the Mongol conquest. That was definitely a rough time. Uh, then we jump to 1572, which was when the Inquisition got going in Spain and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of places in Europe and even uh, the New World. So yeah, that was pretty bad. Then we got 1631, that was the peak of the Thirty Years' War. I guess that was pretty bad. Well, that was a that was an interesting chapter, actually, because I don't really, don't really know too much about the Thirty Years' War. Uh, then in 1709, there was the Great Freeze, which just brutally just raped Europe with uh, very, very cold temperatures. Uh, then we got 1848, that's when uh, riots and revolutions broke out in 25 countries. That was kind of, that was kind of a boring chapter, but eh, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting in some parts too. Then we got 1865, which was the end of the American Civil War and the beginning of the Reconstruction period. That was definitely a rough time. I mean, the South was just obliterated and all the racial stuff. I mean, that's when the Ku Klux Klan got going. So, yeah, that was definitely a rough time. And then we jump to 1942 with the Nazi siege of Leningrad. That was definitely pretty rough, but, I mean, there was more going on in 1942 than just that. But that's kind of just what he focuses on, for whatever reason. Uh, then we got 1968, which saw the uh, kind of the height of the Vietnam War, and then there was all the uh, protests and all that shit going on. Uh, I don't really think that was one of the worst years in history, but yeah, I mean, a lot of crazy stuff was going on. And then the book ends with 1994's the uh, Rwandan uh, genocide, or the genocide in Rwanda. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very interesting book. Um, no, I don't really agree with some of his years, but eh, maybe I should do an episode on what I think are the 10 worst years in human history. That would be, uh, be kind of interesting in a morbid way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting book. Um, not really sure what I would uh, change. I think uh, you could probably put World War I in there. Not really sure what year. I mean, I think 1915 was the bloodiest year, and that was also the first year they started using gas. And then I think in 1917 or 1918, that's when the Spanish flu pandemic got going, and that was one of the worst pandemics in human history. I mean, that just wiped out millions of people, so I think sometime around there would have been a pretty good year to choose, but I don't know. I'll look into it, see if it's worth doing. But uh, yeah, this is definitely an interesting book, and if you're curious, check it out.